Today we're going to go ahead and finish our Space Invaders app by cleaning up our code. In order to navigate to your Space Invaders app, you're going to need to open a new tab or window in your browser and go to appinventor.mit.edu. From here, you'll use your Google student email address, click on Create Apps, and then click on your Space Invaders project to continue building your app. Now, in order to clean up our code, there's really two things that we need to do. The first thing we need to do is make some changes to this game to make it function properly. Now, when the bullet collides with the rocket, let's make that bullet disappear and play a sound, just as it does when the bullet from our rocket hits our space saucer. We will use the bullet saucer collide with event handler in order to make this change. The bullet should become invisible when it hits the rocket, and the miss should be increased by one. We will also want to go ahead and play that hit rocket sound once that rocket is hit. Let's go ahead and head over to our MIT App Inventor and see how we would program this event handler. Once you are in your Space Invaders app, make sure you head over to your block view. From here, we're going to focus on programming our collide with behavior for our bullet saucer. Now, as mentioned before, there's three things we need to have occur here. One, when the bullet hits the rocket, it needs to become invisible. Two, we need to update our miss label every time it misses our rocket. And three, we're going to need to play that hit rocket sound if it does indeed hit the rocket. So the first thing we need to do is find our bullet saucer. Once we find our bullet saucer, we're going to bring in our bullet saucer collide with event handler. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is make that bullet saucer invisible if it does indeed hit that rocket sprite. So again, we're going to go back to that bullet saucer and we're going to check for our visibility here. Once we find our visibility, we're going to go ahead and add that into the event handler and we're going to use a little logic to make this false. This way it'll become invisible. The next thing we need to focus on is our mislabel update. We're going to find our mislabel update and update the text. So we're going to bring in the miss update label text and then we're going to go ahead and increase this by one. We're going to need to go ahead and bring in a math block here and we're going to be looking for an addition block. From here, we want to be able to take the miss update labels text and add one to it. So we can do this by finding that miss update label again. And this time we're going to find a light green box that says miss update label text. Go ahead and bring that into the first part of that addition block. For the second part, we'll need to go ahead and increment that by one. So we'll go ahead and grab a zero block and change that zero to a one. The last thing we need to do here is go ahead and play that hit rocket sound. So we're going to find that sound file that we brought in, find your hit rocket, and we're going to call that to play. Now that you've gone ahead and updated your bowler sauce to collide with event handler, it's time to go ahead and focus on our reset button. Finally, it's time to modify that reset button. We want to go back into that when reset button was clicked and we want to be able to return the saucer to its original location. In order to do this, we're going to set the X value of our saucer sprite to 100 and the Y value to negative 7. Let's go ahead and finish our app by moving over to our MIT App Inventor. Once you are back into your Space Invaders block view, you're going to need to go ahead and locate the when reset button click event handler. There's two lines of code that we need to add in order to complete our program. We need to be able to click on that reset button and have the saucer sprite return to its original location. In order to do this, we need to set that saucer sprite's X value to 100 and the Y value to negative seven. Now in order to do this, we're gonna to go to our block view on the left hand side and find our saucer sprite. From here, we're gonna look for that block that says set saucer sprite X2. Go ahead and bring that in. At the end of this block, we need to add a specific value. So from our math drawer, we're going to go up and find a zero block, and we're going to go ahead and attach that to the end and change that zero over to 100. Now, once we've set the X value, it's time to set the Y. We could just simply go ahead and duplicate that block, and we're going to go ahead and change that X over to a Y. We'll also go ahead and change that 100 over to a negative seven. Once you have added both of those blocks, drop them into your run reset button event handler. Now before moving on, what you'll need to do is go ahead and test your app to make sure that everything is working properly. As you can see, when our app begins, our saucer will be able to fire those bullets. If we can avoid them, the misses will stay at zero 
unless our rocket is hit. If our rocket is hit, we will see that that miss will accumulate by one. If we go ahead and hit our saucer sprite, our score will increment by one. If we hit the reset button, our saucer sprite will go back to the top. Our score and miss label will both go back to zero. Now your app should be working properly.